In this example, we're going to take a look at how to create a drawing from scratch. We'll start with a blank palette. We'll add some things like borders, uh, title blocks, revision blocks. Uh, we'll take a look at how to change the borders, how to change the sheet size, and how to customize the, uh, the title block if we want to. So I'm going to create a new drawing. Uh, we'll make it a fabrication drawing. I have my blank palette. I can right click, go to sheet setup, and adjust the sheet size. Uh, currently we're using C. I'm going to go with C in this example, but we'll take a look at how to change it later on. I'm going to drag and drop a sheet border. I can now go in here and format that border. I can change the margins, for instance. I can hit preview to see what that would look like. That's a little severe, obviously. Okay, and I can change the number of zones. Uh, you know, I may want more zones here. You may have some requirements that uh, you have to have a specific number of zones. Uh, preview or OK. And we have our sheet border. Next, I'm going to drag and drop a revision block. And by default, our revision block attaches itself to the upper right, which is very common, and a title block. And this title block attaches itself to the lower right automatically because it in Blueprint it knows that it's a title block and that's the standard location for it. I'm going to zoom in on that title block and take a look at how we can use uh, document variables to help you in filling out uh, the text on your, your documents. So in this case I could just come in here and type in a drawing number but instead I'll right click here and insert a reference. The reference that we'll use will be a document variable and that document variable will be the drawing number. This is already set up as you can see for the revision in this drawing in this title block and it's been saved off previously. So now all I have to do anytime I use this drawing is go to my document variable manager and enter my drawing number. And if I need to change the revision, I can change that in here as well. Once I say OK, any drawings that have this document variable in them will be updated automatically. There is a standard set of document variables, but you can also add new ones, create your own, um, customize this as you see fit. Now what I'm going to do is customize this title block to add our company logo to it. To do that, I'll insert a picture into my document set. I'm now going to drag and drop the logo out here onto my palette, resize it a bit so it'll fit in the area that we're going to put it. I'll now go to my cell, at my title block itself, and format the cell let the title block know that this is a drawing element instead of a text element. I can now edit this cell and then I just simply drag the logo in there, click outside the cell, and now this is part of my title block. And as you see, if I move this around, it is now part of the title block. The last step would be to right click and save this to my gallery so that it becomes my default title block that I would add in the future. So we'll save it off to our gallery and as you can see the gallery is is broken down into different types of uh, templates if you will and uh, we'll look for uh, title blocks here and there's title block I'll give it a name and click on OK so then what I would do is come over here to my title block and I'm just going to click on it instead of dragging and dropping and now I'll select the one that I've just created and make that my default. So that now when I drag and drop out of here it automatically brings in the one that I've just created.
I may want to change the size of my drawing after I've already created all of this. So what I can do is go back to Sheet Setup. And now let's make this a size D drawing. And notice that everything changes automatically for me. So I don't have to go in and recreate title blocks and revision blocks and zones if I do change the size of a drawing. So that's a little bit on creating a drawing from scratch in Blueprint PCB.